Hi, I'm Dr. Priyanka Bansal and in this video, I will be discussing the treatment options available for infertility. But before that, I would like to thank movies like Good News and Mimi, which will make my explanation more easier. In infertility, the main thing is treat the cause. So if you have infections, you will get antibiotics. If you have ovulatory disorders, the most common being PCOS, where the problem is in the maturation and ovulation. So the doctors will give you medicines and injections for that. If you have tubal blockage or tubal problems, surgery can be done. However, if the tubes are so much damaged that they cannot be surgically corrected, IVF will be the option. Coming to uterus, uterus is the most important part because here is where the baby will get implanted, get their nutrition and will grow. So the uterine lining should be normal which can be confirmed with the help of hysteroscope. Also, if there is any mass like fibroid, polyp, that can be removed with the help of surgery. Any other problems like adenomyosis or endometriosis will also be taken care of with the help of surgery. So these are surgeries are known as fertility enhancing surgeries or FES. If you have any hormonal problems like thyroid, thyroid medicines will be given. Coming to male factors, so the male factor can be mild to moderate problems that will be taken care of with the help of medicines and injections. However, if it is severe male infertility, it will be done with the help of surgery, in which a small incision will be made on the scrotum of the male and actually the sperms itself can be retrieved and processed in the lab. Now coming to the main part of the video and that is what is IUI and what is IVF. IUI actually is artificial insemination. We do nothing but just process the male partner semen and we put it into the uterus. There are a lot of other videos in YouTube which you can definitely see for details. But there are most common indication will be that mild to moderate male infertility factor will be there. But the most important criteria to do IUI is that the fallopian tube must be normal. It should be patent as well as functioning. And what is IVF? IVF is a very complex and dynamic process in which a lot of medications and injections are now given to the female partner. We retrieve the mature egg from the female partner under anesthesia, process it in the lab, take the part, um, semen from the male, which can be done with the help of masturbation, or if severe male infertility is there, it will be taken with the help of surgery. The whole, the both the gametes, that is the ovum and the sperm are actually fused in the lab and processed to form a zygote or a small miniature baby. This is what we saw in Good News movie. The most common reasons for that will be severe male infertility, previous failed attempts of IUI and a blocked fallopian tube. Remember, the criteria for a normal IVF should be that the uterus should be healthy. The uterine lining should be in synchrony. Suppose a female is having the uterus which is not working, which is damaged so much that it cannot conceive. Then what we do is we take the oocytes from the mother, we take the semen or the sperms from the male, fuse it in the lab and actually we can implant this baby into another female. This is known as surrogacy and this is what we saw in the movie Mimi. So remember, it is very crucial to direct the treatment in the right path. So in infertility, the crucial part is that you should be on the right path of treatment. Thank you.